to the sideline. And they go the other way to Jaden Thomas, and he's dropped for a loss by Brady McGregor. So, so far with his throws. They're going to run it here on second and long. They get back to the original line of scrimmage with Jaden Thomas. Stay down. Well, after earn this one, third down to 12. Michigan crowd making some noise for the first time today for their defense. Brumfield got a little pressure, rifles it incomplete. Intended for Ricky White. And that'll bring on the punting unit. Well, you could almost feel those head rushers that time. It's always good to have a guy like Blake Corm behind you. The tailback fakes it to him and then throws it to him. Corum all the way out to the 41 yard line. First down at the 40. McCarthy in the shotgun and the give to Corum. Hit in the backfield. Picked up a couple as three receivers to McCarthy's right. And now Donovan Edwards joins him back there. Three man rush. McCarthy loads. Deep yeah. middle got it. First I think down. that's dangerous. JJ McCarthy just too much of an experienced quarterback. Coming from the transfer portal. First down. Play fake. McCarthy fires. Got his man inside the 20. And it's Roman Wilson. Another. So a loss on that one. Second down at 13. Back at the 20. McCarthy, plenty of time. Pump fakes. Double clutches. Goes complete. To Cornelius Johnson. Where Michigan was four out of five last week. All touchdowns. See if they can convert this one. Straight up the middle. Corum. First and goal, Wolverines. Well, that offensive line did the job that time up front. Just folded it all down. You have to be able to, if you're going to go it against Michigan, you're going to have to handle these guys as Michigan now will go fast. From the three, Corum straight up the gut. Touchdown. Still standing, Blake Corum. You can almost bet on that these days, can't you? Yep. If you run a successful play down to the two or three yard line, these teams will go fast, not allow that defense to substitute. The play that kind of sprung at the one before, that's where the offensive line showed their power on that game. Good job by Barnhart, number 52, to fold them on down. Up and perfect. J.J. McCarthy was five out of five on the drive. Blake Corum took over on the ground. And you can't do it any better than that. 80 yards in nine plays in four and a half minutes. And acting first half head coach, Jay Harbaugh. If he goes nine for nine, they'll pick up the first down. And he does. Zips it in the middle. Double coverage in there. And still tucked it in to A.J. Barner. He's lined up at tight end right here. So it's really a tight, tight end look. Corum. Right side, blasts his way inside the 20 to the 19. Pick up of eight. Good ones. Said he made notes last week. Well, all the notes are working. <laughs> Second down and two. Let's see if it's number two. Most quarterback key. McCarthy around the corner. JJ inside the five near the three. Message to everyone. We can run the quarterback Second sweep. Second quarter, leading 7-0. Blake Corum straight ahead. Touchdown, Michigan. Not as pretty, but just as effective. Well, you know, all the movement is nice between the 20 yard lines, but when you get backed up, the movement doesn't count anymore. They just wedge you right out of there. Up and good. So one play into the second quarter. Blake Corum in the end zone for the second time. We'll be back in 30 seconds with Michigan up by two scores. 26 yards of offense on 11 plays. Michigan's got 155 yards of offense. Got to throw that ball. That was, that was a negative play on that one. Yeah, you got to get rid of that football. Jalen Harrell comes up with a sack. Yeah, Quinton Johnson, number 28, comes from the secondary that time. That changes the play. You can dodge one guy, but you can't dodge them both. You just got to dump it. You're overloaded. Throw it. Throw it. 
See, that's the play is to keep it going, to keep your defense on the sideline. Yep. You got to make those plays. This, now you're behind the chains. This one they got ahead of the sticks, as Gary said, they're behind the chains. Yeah, but even if that's incomplete, that's better than where they are, obviously, right? Trying to run it. Got a couple out of the deal, but a swarming Wolverine defense brings down Vincent Davis. They want a shot at Four wideouts for Brumfield. Michigan is going to come with an extra rusher, and down goes Brumfield again, and it's the same guy. Yep, one of those defensive ends. Jalen Harrell, his second sack of the series. And the second time on third down, an edge rusher makes the play. Clear that up. Best starting field position for Michigan. And they really haven't needed good field position with what they've done offensively so far today. And J.J. McCarthy just keeps throwing darts. And it's close to another first down. Easier to start in the team that get credits for classes. Yeah, you, they couldn't transfer some of their credits. <laughs> I haven't heard that one before. No, I mean, Hinton said he had to take an introduction to writing class that he took about four years ago at Stanford. 36 yeah. out of 40. It's not bad. That was kind of an easy ad there. In <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have done it if it was an odd number. Uh oh. Oh, oh I got another one. All right. 11 for 11, and that was a bullet. Yep, this is now the, what the NFL scouts will look at right here, okay? A lot of nice little throws. We're good in the pocket, but watch this one. Gunned in there before the, the corner can get there right, and you could see the clap. The guy corner thought he had hand, it. Yeah. Went, oh, man. That thing had too much Zuzu. Boom. What a throw. Pick up a 20. Yep. A clinic right yep. now for J.J. McCarthy. Blake Corum, who scored Michigan's two touchdowns in the backfield, but it's going to be a jet sweep going for Edwards. So both backs in there, and that's an alignment that can really. On the right side on third down and six. McCarthy perfect so far to keep it on the ground. Edwards not going to get the first down inside the 20. First decision. J.J. McCarthy's to pick up. Maybe. Yep. Now Corum comes back and joins him. Fourth down and three. Straight ahead. So. Stop. Nice stop. Gonna be UNLV ball. This is time he's in trouble. Broke one tackle, but he won't get away from big Kenneth Grant, who's having himself a first half. You know, the goal of that Michigan defense, especially the defensive line, was to get that inside pressure. I think it was they have not been able to handle the pressure. It's coming from the field. Brumfield, quick throw out in the flat, and that's what you do. Almost a face mask there, first down to Jesus. And remember the last Ten time. Seconds. Good complimentary football in this case. Brumfield rolls, oh. ready to throw, and it got hammered again. again. Fifth sack of the day. Jenkins and Grant, the two inside guys, the big fellas. So Chris Jenkins, we all know and have heard about his strength, but his goal was to become a better interior pass rusher. Watch him on this play. Defeats one, two. Actually, I think it was going to be a screen. Again, they actually turned him away, didn't they? Nobody blocked him. They let him go, and he trying to get the ball rid of the ball, but did not do it well enough. The Wolverine defense will pin their ears back a little bit here. Third down and nine. Brumfield. Nice throw. Rose and completes yes. it. The ball comes uh -oh. out at the end. Called it incomplete. And it was De Jesus who had it. Looked like he had it tucked in. Yep. And all of a sudden it just popped out of there. Remember Barry Odom said we got to catch those balls. But now he's immediately going to the ground. In that case, he's got to survive the ground. And with the ball popping out, that's why they went incomplete. Guys. Gene, one more question on that. That's to the top of your screen. They go back to Corum, who broke one tackle. Doesn't get away from the rest of the swarm of Rebels. Jalen Dixon that time, the defensive end. Up. Nope, Donovan's going to get back in time. And he sets in the backfield with J.J. McCarthy in the shotgun. Looking to that left side, but comes back the other way to Edwards. First down and more. All right, so that's a zone drive. Timeouts, 2.20 left in the half. Back to the ground game. Nice play. Definitely a nice play by Whitmore. Stop on first down. A lot of space in the slot right here. Look at the space. McCarthy, plenty of time. Whips it out to Edwards for the second time on this drive. 
Good open field tackle though by another third down. They picked the last one up on third and seven. This is third and six. McCarthy rips it down near side, complete first down. I tell you, if you're a receiver, nice drive here, eating up time, no hurry, very patient. Michigan gets the football to start the third quarter, too. It'll be a 14-point lead or more when they get it. McCarthy this time scrambles. Nice coverage downfield in his wheelhouse right now as far as adding a field goal if it comes to that. McCarthy going to take off again. First down. J.J. dives forward. Called quarterback draw. This is a 70-yard drive and nine plays again currently. After an 80-yard drive, a 75-yard drive, both for touchdowns, and a 75-yarder that was stopped on fourth down. So Michigan chewing up real estate. McCarthy down the middle. Roman Wilson, touchdown Wolverines. Just follow your big guy. You're number two in the trips. Just follow behind the tight end. I think it was the tight end. And Roman Wilson, come clear, come behind, deliver the football. That's all you got to do. It was not. It was actually receiver Tyler Morris, number eight on the play. Or I think it was eight. Not exactly That's sure. After. Up and good. Yeah, beautiful drive. Remember, he threw one ball away, kept it second down and 10, saved the drive, and then a drop pass by UNLV that could have been a first down. Ends up being a drive for Michigan. 83-yard drive and 10 plays, a little over four minutes, and a near-perfect J.J. McCarthy's got his first touchdown pass of the day. And chaos was the word. That front continued to come from all different angles. Thought about throwing, runs instead, and got four. Trying to run it up the middle, and that's some tough sledding in there for... Donovan Lester. Oh, uh, Michigan missed a line. They had a linebacker on a wide receiver. Brumfield is going to run again. Doesn't, doesn't matter. Short of the first down by Mason Graham. You know what the best pass coverage is? A pass rush. McCarthy, quick out, completes it. And a first down out to Cornelius Johnson as we get out of Jenny. Under center on a first down. Gives it off to Corum. Corum, nice run. J.J. McCarthy and Ryan Keeler were high school teammates. They've been playing ball together since they were seven years old. To and from practice in the same car. He was his protection man as an offensive tackle. Became a defensive end at UNLV. And the Keeler and McCarthy families were so looking forward to this game before the tragic passing of Ryan. They were going to spend the weekend together. I spent some time with J.J.'s dad, Jim, on Thursday night. And he said he'll be having number 47 with him. There it is on his non-throwing hand, and he got a little bit choked up talking to us yesterday about losing his buddy. And pressure as he throws and completes it on the run. Roman Wilson down the sideline. Just like that, with 47 on one hand, he rifles it to his favorite target with the other, and a 47-yard touchdown. A 47-yard touchdown. Unbelievable. Think about it. Kind of takes the breath away, breath away, doesn't it? Wow. The efficiency of the play, it's a simple play, but J.J. buys time in the pocket, not in a hurry to run, and then just doesn't rifle it. He pinpoints it, allows his receiver again to run with the ball after the catch. J.J. might not know it now, but sometime he's going to see a stat sheet and see Ryan Keeler's number in his head and on his wrists. And in the end zone to Roman Wilson. Extra point. Turner up and good. Fifth touchdown catch for Roman Wilson this year. That surpasses all of last year. Yeah, very simple crossing route. Not horrible coverage, but Wilson just outruns it. And the ball leads him away from the receiver. Throwing him open and throwing him into the end zone. Ryan Keeler is probably smiling at his old buddy with that touchdown pass. Michigan 28-0.
with option this time. And getting to the edge is Vincent Davis. And one of the best plays of the day out of the backfield for Davis. Same side, run him either way. That's the same look from the shotgun. 21 yard pickup and now plowing ahead for about three more yards. That's the first time in the state. And who knows what they could add in the future, right? Absolutely. Might be adding some teams. <laughs> who knows? Maybe a bowl team this year. Oh, he tripped and over. He stumbled. He had it. He had the sweep, and he could have been a first down. That was Davis again. Yep. Now fourth down. down. Hey, gotta go for it, don't you? I would think. I think he easily had the edge on this play. Yes, he Just did. A bad That's spot in the turf. Yep. Both receivers to the near side. And they wanted to run option, and it's not an option enough. They only got about a yard. Brumfield kept it. And Michigan will take over on downs. Chris Jenkins again. Yeah, so Michigan is running a blitz, a field blitz from the left side of the field. But that just meant the guys on the other side were playing outside contain. Donovan Edwards with J.J. McCarthy in the backfield. He'll get the carry for about a yard. You know, I mean, I think we're at that point in the game here pretty close. Action here in Michigan. The Wolverines up 28 to nothing. Lake Corum found an opening. Corum in the open field now. Got tripped up, or it might have been an even bigger gainer. He knows it. Three receivers set to J.J. McCarthy's right. That was going to bring his tight end back in motion. And off play action. Plenty of time. Deep middle. Throws a strike to Johnson. And another Michigan first down. All the way down to the 30 yard line. Quickly to the line. Two tight ends set on the left for the Wolverines. Oh, They're going to go end around. Here comes Johnson. Johnson with a convoy. Cornelius Johnson to the four yard line. Jet Elad saved the touchdown. Offensive corner, Sharon Moore, has kind of pulled out the stops in the red zone. Remember, they had the quarterback keeper down there to set up a play. Now they go the reverse into the red zone area, a scoring zone to get the ball down. Corum back in there now after a 27-yard end around. And they'll give him the carry, and they'll give him the end zone. Touchdown, Blake Corum, number three on the day. Well, one would assume it won't be this easy to run the ball in the side the 20 all year, but today, this Michigan offensive line has made it look easy. The stats right now, Ness, 50 plays so far in this game for Michigan. 25 runs, 25 pass. How about that? 76 yards in four plays in a hurry. And a five-yard touchdown run for Blake Corum. On that one and into Michigan territory. Uh -oh. Here comes the ball out. Picked up on one hop, though. And it's going to be a loss on the play, but a pretty good bounce. Fortuitous bounce. Now it's second down and 18. Brumfield. Nice delivery. And completes over by the Michigan sideline. Another saying he was bobbling it. It's the second time we've been waiting for a replay and didn't get it. That throw is complete. And that's going to be a first. Well, not a first down to pick it up. The fourth down now. Yeah, back to the original line of scrimmage for the Rebels. Rump field pressured again, trying to lob it out to his tailback and nothing doing. It was just too much pressure. It looked a little bit like a screen, but I don't really think it was set up that way. Looks like it's done, and that means Jack Tuttle is going to take over. Came over from Indiana, so he gets the fourth quarter and 56 more seconds. As Jerome Moore, the offensive coordinator, standing next to J.J. McCarthy and says, J.J., I think you did all you could. Yeah, that's right. 22 out of 25 is not bad after going 26 out of 30 last week. His quarterback rating is off the chart through the first two weeks of the season. He kept it. Oh, kept it. Wow. I was going to say it was a great fake. Oh, oh that's not a good one. Yes, 15. And he hit that wall over there. And he Cameron Oliver, number five, gave him a late shove. You know, Jack Tuttle got hurt last year, a knee injury, missed most of the year, and now he gets shoved right up to the end of it, and his shoulder 
grabbing that left shoulder. He makes a great play pulling that ball when he sees the crashing, I guess, defensive end on the play. He's only so big. He's Let's up and he's maybe he's okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> Looked like he said, it's just my shoulder. Right. Well, you only get two of them. Barry Odom apologized to him, shaking hands. Good sportsmanship there. And Tuttle goes, my cart. I didn't. Not with him. Yep. I didn't wait four years. And you know, who else has gone with him? The other quarterback, all his linemen, all happy for him. He wants to play again. He's going to come out for one play. Probably Davis Warren going in, maybe, to uh, at least play a one play before he can gather. And, <laughs> and they've enjoyed what they've seen 35 to nothing right now. And the Rebels not giving in, still working at it. Unique offense. And AM on the short end, as Luke just told us so far in that game, going back and forth. For Michigan. Fake the pitch and then throws down the streaking sideline. Nice throw. Beautiful throw and complete. Out to Jacinto. Fake the pitch and come back and throw down the middle of the tight end. Another first down. Mountain West has probably been the most stable conference for a while. Whoa, nice scramble there. And and well. It's going to be close, about a yard shy of the first down. Ball carrier, and he's two yards shy of the first down. Blitz coming off the corner. The run goes the other way, and it's going to be good enough for a first down. Courtney Reese, People, and we're going to see him. Another blitz coming. Nice run, and there goes the shutout. Jordan Young Humphrey for the touchdown. Yeah, this is the read off the triple option. Oh, the extra point up and good. Yeah, sure was. At Missouri, was captain of senior well. year. Free play. And he makes Not a go. It down there and a flag down. I, not I, really. Not either. And I, I know the competition is different, but these guys have proved themselves a year ago. And there's no stepping back. And in the last two years, they've had back to back years. Yeah. And, you know, and a little over three hours ago, we started the show talking about all the things they've accomplished back to back Ohio State right. wins, back to back Big Ten championships, back to back college football appearances. And then Gary and I were discussing. This year they think or they want to take that next step. And our first look in person, I think they're very, very yeah, capable I, of taking that one step. One more thing, the last five quarterbacks to win national championships have been leaders of their team. Trevor Lawrence, Joe Burrow, Mac Jones, and then Stetson. Yep. So JJ's just like those type of players. They got one of those kind of guys and he put on one of those kind of performances today at quarterback. Mike. Mike Hart, yep, the hug. acting second half head coach, and Jay Harbaugh, the acting first half head coach, in for head coach Jim Harbaugh.